Good day, everybody. How are you all? Today, we are going to discuss the expected value and the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. So, I'll share my screen with you. Select a good color. So we we'll work with. Uh, we will work with this screen. Okay, so AP tests are graded on a score of uh, on a scale of one to five. The college board reported the distribution of AP statistics exam as follows. X is the score 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and the corresponding probabilities are listed. Find the mean AP test score for stats. Find the standard deviation of AP statistics test score. And what is the probability that a student receives a score of 3 or higher? So I have to quickly take care of something. which is this is uh, over here in the AP. So, okay. And we are back to the solution. So let's solve this problem. Oops. Nope. I didn't want that. So. Maybe we'll make it a little tad smaller. Okay. So, so, so let's do part A. Part A. This is a discrete probability distribution. Discrete probability distribution. Probability distribution. Distribution. So we will use our calculator TI 84. Enter X values in L1 of the calculator and corresponding corresponding probability value in L2. Okay, so first clear the memories. Clear the memories. By pressing second button then plus button on top of enter button, then select number four, and then enter. Okay, so we put our calculator on, then second button, then plus button, then four, then enter. Clear all list, done. Mm -hmm. Then next thing we will do is uh, we will Press the stat button. Then number one button, which is edit. Enter data in L1 and L2. Data in L1 and L2. Okay, L2, this is L2, this is L1. So maybe this, I will write this a little better. So, here this one. And this, I will write L1 in L1. Okay. So X data go in L1, Y, the probability value go in L2. So stat, one in L1, the scores are one, two, three, four, 
and five. And then the corresponding probability is in L2, 0 0.34, 0 0.25, 0 0.18, 0 0.16, and then 0 0.07. Okay, so... Point five nine and eight means and seven seven and yeah okay now we will press stat button again so after entering the beta press the stat button again okay the next thing we will do is again stat button. And then highlight calc on the top row, then highlight calc, then number one, which is one where stats. Okay, let me create some space. Okay, and I will move a little bit up also so that I get some space. Okay, okay, so one where stats, so your first line list is L1, list is L1. And frequency list is L2. Sorry. Frequency list is L2. And then we will calculate. If your frequency list is M empty, then you have to make it L2 after the colon in the second line. How do you do that? I'll show you in a minute. So frequency list. This is done by pressing the second button and then number two. Second and two. Okay, we'll make it L2. And then we go to calculate. The last step is to calculate. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, so your mean score part one is the find the mean AP test score. So the mean, where is it? Mean, no, mean AP test score, AP test score. X bar is equal to 2.37. So that is your part A. Okay. So part B is standard deviation. Standard deviation is sigma X and that is equal to 1.286 1. 1.286 okay so we will create some space and we we'll move up what is the probability that a student will receive a score of 3 or higher so part c as per probability of x greater or equal to 3, which is probability of 3 plus probability of 4 
plus probability of 5. Probability of 5. And that is equal to 0 0.18. 0 0.18 plus 0 0.16 point 0.16 plus 0 0.07 and that is equal to 0 0.18 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.07 and the answer is 0 0.41 0 0.41 so that is the answer for part c so there is a 41 percent chance that a student will receive a score of three or higher so i'll stop here today if you have any question comment write me a note I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you like this video, please share with your friend. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I come back every day with a new problem, new solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.